welcome to today's um, Vibe Talks. And, you know, we've been talking a lot about, you know, boundaries. This week we've talked about focus, so like mindset and perspective, right? Um, so today I kind of wanted to go into food. Um, a few, maybe a couple months back um, in my private Facebook group, Unlock Your Magic, um, I did a workshop on um, creating an empowering morning ritual. And one of the things the ladies asked for afterwards was, you know, easy breakfast ideas, right? So um, when I was trying to think, well, okay, what do I want to talk about today? Um, I was like, oh, duh. Let me give those breakfast ideas. Hey, Trevor, thanks for saying hi. Um, so yeah, so let me know in the comments, like, are you, do you eat breakfast every day? Are you a breakfast eater? Um, and what are some of your reasons, if you're not a breakfast eater, what are some of your reasons for not eating breakfast, right? So um, is it time? Um, are you just too stressed out to eat? Like, can you just not eat? Um, are you just not someone who's hungry in the morning? I don't have time. Okay, so um, over on Instagram, <laughs> one of our watchers has said that, our viewers has said that they just don't have time, and that's kind of perfect, because um, what I'm going to be sharing with you guys today, these grab-and-go ideas, um, you'll prep in advance, right? So it, it literally is just kind of grab, heat it up, head out the door kind of ideas. So that's what I'm going for um, today. My big thing that I want to stress, and maybe we don't necessarily think about it, because the whole um, idea of these Vibe Talks, right, is to um, provide content that helps you elevate your life, right? Helps you reduce the stress in your life. I'm all about the spiritual wellness, so this is my mind, body, soul approach to stress management. So we've talked a lot about how to shift our mindsets um, to help us reduce stress, but let's now talk about food and how we can implement food to um, help us reduce stress in our world. Um, one thing I don't think we give, one thing I don't think we actually acknowledge or maybe don't know, I mean, I didn't know until I went back to school in some of my holistic nutrition classes, um, just the, the amount, the impact what we eat has on our stress levels, the impact food has on um, how our body handles stress in our world. Um, I did a whole master class on this, eating for stress. So like what nutrients your body needs to fight back against the effects of stress. Um, and I even went further as far as, you know, I talked about the nutrients, but what foods have those, right? So a lot of what I'll be sharing with you today are those, um, you know, how to use those foods, how to incorporate them in these grab and go, um, grab and go kind of uh, breakfast ideas, right? I'm getting myself tongue tied. It's Friday. <laughs> How's your Friday going? <laughs> Mine's going okay, but I'm definitely feeling a little fuzzy around the edges today, that's for sure. So, um, one thing I want to say is, so, before I moved to California, um, I lived in New England for the majority of my life, right? And in New England, you can find a Dunkin' Donuts on every block, and some of them, um, two on a block, right? Um, and the advertisement or the slogan is, America runs on Dunkin's, right? And it's... True, at least in New England, you go to other parts of the country and they're not so Dunkin' Donuts dependent. Um, but I bring that up only to say that um, that doesn't have to be the only way. <laughs> Trevor, I know you love your Dunkins. Anyways, <laughs> all the we got to be mindful of the processed foods, the sugary foods, the fried foods, these fast foods, because although they may be convenient. They actually add to the stress that our body, um, adds to stressing our body out. You know what I mean? Um, these processed foods, these sugary foods, these fast foods lead to inflammation in your body. Inflammation then leads to a lot of these chronic diseases like type 2 diabetes, um, obesity, hypertension. So what I want to help encourage today is to get you out of the drive through and back into the kitchen. Um, let's start eating foods that... Um, nourish and empower our bodies as opposed to foods that stress our bodies out, that weaken our systems, um, that, that actually like diminish us of nutrients that we actually need to be able to thrive, right? So um, I mentioned how, you know, these processed foods, these fast foods stress your system out, right? Um, although hitting the drive-thru is convenient, 
these foods that I'm going to share with you are going to be just as convenient. I mean, if you're allotting for an extra five to 10 minutes so you can hit the drive through, you could spend that five to 10 minutes heating these foods up um, and shoving them in your face, right? <laughs> these are also foods that you could easily um, eat from your car. Um, one thing I realized I skipped over and I want to run back to, um, yes, yeah, so these processed foods, these sugary foods, these fast foods stress your system out, right? What it also does though, and if you're already super stressed out and overwhelmed in your world, these foods, these processed foods, etc., um, also fog up your brain, right? Um, they don't help you think clearly. They scramble up your intuition, so it makes it that much harder for you to, you see potato, yeah, <laughs> it makes it that much harder um, for you to make decisions, right? So what's that do? If you're having a hard time making decisions in your world, you're getting more stressed out. So in the, with my intention <laughs> of helping you, um, you know, have less stress in your world and have more awareness around what you're doing, what you're fueling your body with, I want to share about at least three grab-and-go ideas um, that will take a little preparation from you. Maybe it's, you know, Sunday evening you're putting these things together, but that just means that time, maybe that hour you spent on Sunday prepping makes the rest of your work, uh, week that much easier. Um, a couple of these ideas are actually in the Feel Good Foods cookbook. Um, I share all, I share about two breakfast recipes, two lunch recipes, two dinner recipes that all have ingredients that help your body fight back against the effects of stress. They help nourish your body again. Um, so the first recipe I want to throw out there, bear with me, because at first you might be like, what? <laughs> but this first one is egg muffins. And so what I mean by that is literally, like, think about making scrambled eggs almost, right? Whipping up some eggs, maybe you saute some onions, some peppers, maybe you throw in some spinach, whatever it may be, whatever veggie that you're after, right? And then you pour them into a muffin tin. Bake it in the oven until they're cooked, take them out and package them in individual baggies, right? And so maybe it's Tuesday morning, you're in a rush, pop those baggies out of the fridge, right? Heat it up in the microwave, grab some fruit. I think it's super important to have some fruit handy in the house at all times. It's a quick, easy snack. Um, help add in some fiber into your life. And so you've got your two egg muffins, two, three, however many, treat yourself, right? <laughs> You've got your egg muffins, you've got your fruit, and you've got a nutritious meal to get you through your morning. The one thing with having eggs is that they're protein, right? Um, it's going to help keep you fuller longer, so maybe you're not snacking by 1030. Whatever you got to do. Make it work for you. Cool? Um, my other suggestion, or my second grab-and-go breakfast idea, and this one you can actually make a ton of, and this won't take you a lot of time. But freezer breakfast burritos. Make your own breakfast burritos. That's what I'm saying right now. So get yourself some large whole wheat tortillas um, and fill them up with, if you're not into eggs, do black beans. But think black beans, eggs, once again, some veggies, right? Throw in some cheese. Um, one thing I want to make clear, oop, hold on, there we go. <laughs> one thing I want to say is, I'm a big advocate of seasonal eating, so what I mean by that is get your hands on whatever fruits and veggies are in season for where you live, okay? They'll provide the nutrients your body needs to thrive during that particular season. So it being fall, um, and once again being a New England girl, um, you know, you're going to get a lot of squashes, right? So maybe roast up some squash, whatever other veggies you're into. Roast those up, throw those on a big old pan, maybe throw some olive oil on that bad boy, roast them up. While those are roasting, make some eggs. Or if you're not an egg person, get some beans, whatever it may be, right? Now, one thing I wanna say, so because you don't want these the tortilla to get soggy. So let your warm food items cool down before you start to assemble this freezer burrito, right? Um, <laughs> once it's cooled down, lay your cheese down first and then everything else on top of that. That'll help kind of add as a barrier so your tortilla doesn't get too soggy. I'm not, soggy textures freak me out. I can't do that. So think like when your peanut butter and jelly sandwich has been sitting too long and your bread gets all soggy from the jelly. I can't do that. That's a no for me. <laughs> so yeah, these freezer burritos. The great thing with this is once it's all cooled down, you've got everything assembled, wrap it up, 
wrap it up in some tin foil and freeze it. Once they're nice and frozen solid through, then put them into some like gallon Ziploc bags or whatever. Those bad boys will last you three months, right? Um, and that's an easy one for you to heat up. Pop it out of the freezer, maybe heat it up in the microwave for a couple minutes. Um, if you've got, if you're preparing a little bit better, maybe you've taken a shower, you've hopped out of the shower, um, start your oven. You can pop these in the oven for like 350 for like 15 minutes. While it's in the oven heating up, you go ahead and get ready. And then as you're on your way out the door, you've got your breakfast burrito, right? Stuff your face. <laughs> you can eat that while you're driving, right? Um, you can eat that on your walk to school, right? Um, so that's the idea with this. Like we don't have to sacrifice nourishing our bodies with whole foods um, because we don't have time or out of convenience. There's going to be a little prep work. Put the time in. It's going to make the rest of your week so much easier. Um, my last, did I say everything I want to say about the breakfast burrito? How'd that sound to you guys? I mean, really have fun with that. Do what you got to do with that one. Um, I know that I love spinach and I love feta. I do like eggs, so like that's my get down. So I'm totally for like a whole wheat tortilla with eggs, spinach, feta, um, sauteed mushrooms and onions. That's totally my jam. So um, make this work for you though. Think about the fruits and veggies that you love in your world and bring them in. Experiment with new ones, you know? So I think I said everything I want to on the, the burrito. Um, Breakfast burrito sounds good. I'm gonna use broccoli. Yeah, broccoli is great. Broccoli is another great food that helps reduce stress in your body. Um, I mentioned I say this in the Eating for Stress Masterclass, but broccoli's got vitamin C. Vitamin C is gonna be great for helping to support your immune system, which guess what? Stress totally weakens your immune system. So get that broccoli. <laughs> and it does some other things for you too, like um, cortisol, right? When we're super stressed out, we release a lot of cortisol. And one way to break up that cortisol, that stress hormone, is vitamin C. So broccoli would do that for you. Just dropping these gems. <laughs> so one more grab and go idea, that uh, breakfast idea that I'm going to share with you that um, totally is some prep work beforehand, but will make the rest of your week so much easier, is some overnight oats, right? Um, be a basic millennial, <laughs> get some mason jars, um, get yourself some oats, maybe, uh, maybe, you know, if you're, get some dairy, like milk, if you're not, if you're dairy free, get some nut milk, like, um, which that's so weird, it's not really, nut milk isn't milk, it's like nut juice, but that sounds weird too, so it's a different topic. So get yourself some, like, almond milk, right, coconut milk, whatever is your jam, um, maybe throw in some good fats, like some chia seeds or some nut butter, that kind of idea. Um, I know in the Eating First, or the Feel Good Foods cookbook, I have a, uh, overnight oats with strawberries, right? And chia seeds. That's one that, that's a combo I like. So, experiment. Have some fun with it. I'm giving you the, these ideas to prompt you to start thinking. Um, but make this work for you. Incorporate the foods that you like. Because I guarantee you, if it's stuff that you like, you're going to eat it. You're going to go for it. Um, but the idea with these overnight oats is if you've got them, maybe you've made five, right? Maybe you've made a couple of different ones, but you've got five jars of these overnight oats in your fridge waiting for you. As you run out the door, you could eat that cold or you could heat it up. Um, old lady gang, hashtag old lady gang. I love oatmeal. That's my jam. Um, so I love putting apples and cinnamon in my oatmeal. That's how I get down. Um, I also have strawberries, so that's why I included that strawberry overnight oats recipe in the Feel Good Foods cookbook. But those are some ways that you can get out of the drive-thru, back in the kitchen, some easy grab-and-go breakfast ideas that help support your body, help nourish your body, help, um encourage your body to thrive despite being super stressed out in the rest of your world. Um, don't let the foods you eat add to your stress, add to your stressed out body. Let your food support your body, encourage your body. Um, I think that's one thing until we open our eyes to the power our food has in our lives. We, we kind of, I don't know, we don't give it as much um, thought, right? So let your food heal you as opposed to um, adding to your stress. 
cool. Do you guys have any comments? Uh, need any more direction? Any more ideas? Totally down to give that. I said love coming in over here on uh, Instagram. Thank you. <laughs> I'm glad you're picking up what I'm throwing down today. Um, let me think. What else? What else? So I said keeping some fruit in the house. I think that's huge. It's an easy one you can grab. If you're someone who's not hungry first thing in the morning um, and you don't have time, um, maybe you didn't prep, right? Maybe you're going to get more food later on. Whatever it is, having some fruit around is an easy one. Um, if you're someone who does, this is a little off topic, but if you're someone who does a lot of snacking late at night, Make sure you're getting more food in during the day, okay? Um, that's going to prevent you from the late night snacking. Um, and the, uh, the other side of that is, like, why not eat the most food first thing in the day, first thing in the morning? You have all day to help burn that out, work it out, help it fuel you, have more energy throughout your day. Um, and that reminds me, there was one more thing I want to mention. A little off topic with the grab-and-go breakfast, but... If you're super stressed out, maybe you're dealing with a lot of anxiety, um, maybe you're dealing with a lot of overwhelm, you've just got a lot on your plate right now, chugging coffee is not your friend, okay? This goes back to the whole Dunkin' Donuts, two on every block sometimes. <laughs> um, coffee is not going to be your friend in these times of your life where you're super stressed out. If anything, the coffee, that caffeine, is going to add to your feelings of stress. It's going to get that heart rate up, which is that's honestly the last thing you need in that moment uh, when life is coming at you, right? Um, so be wary of that. That was my other tip. And then the last thing I was going to say is drink your water. <laughs> my friends get so annoyed at me. They'll make the simplest complaint or this is bothering me, that's bothering me. My first thing is drink water. Um, and it's because every single chemical process your body goes through uses water. So get that in your life. It's going to help diminish the amount of stress that you're doing to yourself. I think a lot of times we think of stress as um, the outside world, right? Mm, no. <laughs> we contribute to our own stress a lot. Um, and so bring some water into your life. That's, that's one that I know I annoy my friends with and I'm kind of okay with it. I'll continue. <laughs> I carry my pink water bottle with me everywhere um, and I like to keep it full. Not because I haven't drank any, but because as long as it's full, I know I'm going to keep chugging away. Um, but yeah, that's what I got. What'd you say over here? Um, oh, you're a cheese it person at night. Well, you know, maybe you could find a different crunchy snack to, uh, get your life with. Maybe, uh, get after some, like, celery. I don't know. Find another thing. What, what's the cheese it thing? Um, but yeah, so Facebook, um, I see that y'all are good. Um, so if you're catching the replay, hi, thanks, leave your comments, questions, anything, I'll get back to you. If you're picking up what I'm throwing down, please like or share with your friends. I'm going to continue the party on Instagram. Um, but yeah, thanks for tuning in and I hope you got some inspiration for some grab and go breakfast ideas. Make this work for you. Okay. Um, talk to you soon. Monday, right? So it'll be... Monday, 1 p.m. Pacific Time, 3 p.m. Central Time, and 4 p.m. Eastern Time. Cool. Talk to you guys then. All right. For my, my Instagrammers, I like to call this now the after party. <laughs> We've gotten rid of uh, Facebook. I don't have to juggle back and forth between two cameras. Um, Insta is for the cool kids. Well, you know what? I like Insta better because this camera looks so much better. When I watch the video on Facebook, it doesn't look this nice. Thank you for laughing, Olu. Thank you for coming through. <laughs> but yes, ooh, potatoes over here getting after my computer. Um, but yeah, so if you guys have any other um, comments or if there's anything else you want me to get after, another random question. I mean, one of the viewers asked a question the other day that had nothing to do with our topic, but I still served her. So that's the purpose, right? I'm out here serving. <laughs> Um, and I guess Potato, my sister's cat, really liked today's topic because he stuck around for the whole time. You missed the fro? Well, guess what? We're having a fight right now. I don't miss it, okay? She's annoying me. So this is my way of just being like, you're in timeout. <laughs> Maybe she'll be back on Monday. Who knows? <laughs> but yeah, if that's it, then I will. Quick dinner tip. Okay. Um, so once again, um, I'm all for, it's funny, right? I saw a meme the other day that totally made me laugh. Like growing up, we ate leftovers 
forever, right? That's just what it was. My mom wasn't doing all that cooking and neither was my dad. Um, but it's funny because now that's called meal prep. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay. So yeah, I'm big on meal prepping. So if you can get your protein cooked, maybe Sunday, whenever you go grocery shop and cook up your protein, right? Um, so that's already done. That makes dinner time and making dinner so much easier because then it's just a matter of throwing together your veggies or or whatever um, grain you're having with it or whatever your get down is. Because if your protein's already made, maybe it's just a matter, say you grilled some chicken on Sunday, right? Chicken's already grilled. Maybe you just throw together a quick salad. That's easy enough, right? Um, especially if another tip I usually share is if you buy your produce. When you buy your produce, already get that stuff cut up and, and bagged up, right? So that's another way to make during the week easier. So if it's a salad that you're going to make, it's just a matter of getting your greens. Maybe you already have some cucumber or some peppers or some tomatoes cut up. Now it's just kind of like popping everything together. Um, but it's just a matter of maybe one day a week doing the majority of the prep work and then just coast the rest of the week. Um, you could do the same thing with your grains too. Maybe you've already cooked up, um, I grew up having a lot of rice growing up. So, <laughs> so maybe you already have like, your rice is cooked. Maybe you already have pasta cooked. I think that's the easiest way to make, um, dinner quick and easy. Have it prepped and then it's just kind of plug and play. Pop it all in. Does that work for you? Um, leftovers are the best. But my makeup is always on point, Trevor, okay? <laughs> When you got good brows, everything else is easy. <laughs> um, but yeah, Olu, let me know if that works for you. If that was a, a sufficient tip. <laughs> and I think now Potato's messing with my stand, so I think he's telling me that we're done here. Thanks. Cool. Awesome. Um, yeah, so I guess that being that, I will let you guys go. I'll be back on Monday. Um, I think Fridays will make food tip day. I think that's when we'll talk food talk. Um, but yeah, so... Have a good Friday. Have a good weekend. Don't do anything I wouldn't do, which actually leaves you open to doing a lot because it's not, uh, yeah, we'll stop there. <laughs>